good morning, friends. Welcome to New Bremen, Ohio. I'm here at some breakfast joint, Polies. Just what Google had to offer. It's good, even though it wasn't really breakfast stuff. It's good pork tenderloin. And decaf. Time to go. Welcome, friends, to the Bicycle Museum of America. Right here in this small town in Western Ohio, New Bremen. It's a nice place. Let's go check out this museum. Oh, it's only three dollars. Hmm. Well, it turns out they're filming a tourism video for the area right in the next room, which is the first room that they say to go check out to get an idea of the museum and such. But we won't be doing that. There's three stories, and they go in uh, order of some old bikes to some racing bikes, then to some newer bikes on the top floor. And apparently there's some pretty cool ones in here, some historical ones, clearly. But a really neat one that I'm looking forward to seeing up on the top floor. What an interesting mechanism here, huh? 1897. This one is fascinating. What's the price? Interesting light here. There's some other lights there, kerosene lights as well. Skirt lifters for your dress wearers on bicycles. Lots of old bikes. This is from 1898. Just a few days ago, I visited the Wright Brothers Bicycle Shop in Greenfield Village at the Henry Ford Museum. And I am fascinated by the Wright Brothers and flight, of course. You know me from World's Greatest Kiting. You know that that is a major part of my life, flight and kites and such. The Wright Brothers used kites to discover flight and so on. But they also were bicycle makers. That's how they got started. So this is cool to me. I'd, I've always liked bikes. I don't own one now because they keep getting stolen. But I like them. I like these old ones especially. Looks like... There's some filming about to happen. We should move on. Why don't we go upstairs? Let's see what's going on there. Pinu Dunlop. This is an 1886 racer bike. Some of these bikes don't look that old to me. This is a 1904 two speed. It seems kind of new. This one looks a little older. It's a 1910, but still, it's not, doesn't seem that old. This is a 1941. It looks very new to me. I know we're in a museum, so it's well taken care of, but the design looks pretty modern to me. It doesn't look like there's been a whole lot of changes. I'm sure there has been many changes. Like, check these out. Very modern. Very modern. Spacelander. I'd ride one of those. It would definitely get stolen in Florida though. Check this out. Never seen anything like that before. You got a giant gear there. Don't hit a big speed bump or anything. Now here's an interesting mechanism for Riding around in a different way. I guess you put your forearms there and can steer with this thing. These bikes look like they really want to go. Ooh, that's neat. Bonus friends, the Pee Wee Herman Schwinn DX used in the movie by Pee Wee Herman himself. This is one of them that was used in the movie. <laughs> oh, Mickey. 
Why? It's a trick cycle. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this would be hard to, to ride. Donald Duck bike. Neato. Right below the ice bike. Check out this back wheel. That doesn't mess around. That, that's meant for going in the ice. Your sled on the front. 1901. Packing some heat there. 2005 electric bike. Been down for a while, I guess. Didn't realize. This one folds right up. This is a machine gun tandem bike. <laughs> wow, look at this guy. Get out of the way. And the biggest room of them all. Look at all of the bikes. Rad. Stingray Bug Shield. <laughs> Isn't neat. 1970p picker. 71 Grey Ghost. A Harley Davidson bike man powered. I especially like the color of this bike and this one here. Sweet. It's a 2015 Detroit Madison street bike. Coppered out. All wood, except for the handlebars. Here's another one of those things, but just a more modern one. This is from 2008. There's only 30 of these made, and it was used in the Olympics in Beijing. There you go. Sprockets. Some lights, too. This is the bike that I was looking forward to seeing. This was Ignaz Schwinn's family tandem bike. It was made just for the owner, the founder of the company, his wife, and his young son. You can see him all riding around on this bike back in the day. There it is. I find this mechanism interesting where the handlebar turns in the back for assistance. Most tandems are not like that, from what I understand. How well, interesting though, to see the actual Schwinn family bicycle, that's it. This is a Haro, brand new BMX style bike here. Talks about Dave Haro and his riding. But also mentioned some other names like Matt Hoffman. Matt Hoffman, was a customer at the Starbucks that I worked at in Oklahoma City. And I got to know him a little bit and his wife and kid. I served him coffee a lot. I didn't even know that he rode bikes <laughs> until I saw him on TV one day on a video game. Like, that's the dude that I serve coffee to every day. Can't be a bike museum without a banana bike. The top banana. <laughs> it's the lemon peeler. Tricycle wheelchair. Hmm. It's an 1850 quadricycle. Oh, this is a really old one. 1816. Now, this is the first room of the museum that they suggest checking out, but we're here last. 1887. Bouncy, bouncy bike. There's a lady's bike. Helps prevent the dress from 
getting snagged. Again, an old bike that doesn't look so old. 1895, this one was made. It's a racer. 1898, a shaft drive. I've never seen that. Couple more bikes from the 1800s. I really like this style. Now, why don't they make bikes with some of these cool features today? I haven't seen bikes with these cool swirly do's and bouncy bounces and shiny things. Neat. Who wouldn't want that? I want that. That's totally what I would ride around on. That's what women would wear, a bloomer suit to ride their bicycles. These high wheel bikes intimidate me. Never, never really been into wanting to try one. I think you just fall off and fall a long ways down. Coventry Rotary Women's Tricycle. Not for men, for women. You ever heard of a dicycle? I have not. Just have this tiny wheel in the back. Keep it from doing, going back too far, I guess. Bicycle medals from the 1800s all the way to 1930. There's one from 1875. They got a lot of old ones here. This blue one's 1870. We got 1878 here on this high wheel. A oh, really old one, 1819. American hobby horse. The American Bicycle Museum is really cool. If you're in this area of Ohio, Western Ohio, New Bremen, Ohio specifically, stop in here and check it out, buy a postcard, hang out for a little while, learn a couple things about bikes. I did, it was a really neat place. Friends, I appreciate you joining me here at the American Bicycle Museum. I'll see you in the next video.